Hello everybody, this is DIY Graphic Design. In this tutorial I'll show you some of the drop down menus. So if I go to File, uh, under this menu I can create a new document, I can open existing one, I can open a, open a recent document, I can save, save as, I can export, I can print, and then I can close also properties. In edit drop down menu, uh, I can undo and redo um, some of the last steps. I can cut, copy, and paste. But also under this menu, I can fill my selections with either color or pattern. Under select menu, I can uh, do adjustments related to selection. So I can select all, I can deselect everything. If I have several selections, I can invert selection. So for example, if I make a round selection here, now everything that is inside of the circle is selected. If I go to select and invert, then everything that's outside of, the, of my circle is selected right now and everything that's inside, it's deselected. And if I go back to select none, then everything is deselected. The view menu relates to, to viewing your image. So I can go to full screen here. I can take this to show the boundary of the layer and so on. Under image, I can duplicate my image. I can change my mode from, for example, RGB to grayscale, I can transform, flip my image horizontally, vertically, and rotate. I can see my canvas size, I could print, see my print size, I could scale my image, I could merge visible layers and flatten my image. Under layer menu, I can create new layer, I could delete a layer, I could mask it, adjust transparency, transform just the layer, um, and so on. Under colors, I can color balance, so I could adjust and add the different colors. I could change my levels of my image here. I could change curves, for example. I can invert my image. I can auto white balance, for example. I can desaturate from here. Under tools, this menu relates to my toolbox. So everything that's here, uh, it can also be found under tools right here. Filters uh, would be simply to add some filters. So for example, if I wanted to blur my image, I could simply do that by adding, let's say 100, and then it blurs my image quite a bit. Under Windows, I could add different functions. So for example, if I go to Dockable Dialogs, I could add channels and then it shows up right here. And if I want to close my channels, I can go, go simply here and then close my tab. And then Help uh, window allows me to search for help.